So I thought it would be a fabulous idea to talk to those people who are wondering, maybe they haven't purchased a house in a long time or it is their first time purchasing. But the number one, number one tip I have is get pre-approved. And it's something that you want to do right away, right out of the gate. And I want to talk about why it's just so, so important to know your numbers and feel comfortable with your payment. And the pre-approval is a vital part of the puzzle and it really has to come first. And I'm going to let you guys kind of explain what it is and, and why it needs to be the first step. All right. So when we look at this, we've kind of broken it into three different categories of pre-qualification and pre-approvals. The first one we look at is a pre-qualification and this one has a lot of issues just because it's only as good as the information we get from the client. So if the client says, hey, look, I make $80,000, but we go into the pay stubs and it's closer to 75, sometimes there can be a little bit of inaccuracies in that. And so a pre-qualification letter, we end up gathering income, debts, different pieces of that. Um, and then we can issue a pre-qualification letter. Um, but in a lot of aspects, it's not worth that much. Then after that, we can do what's called a DU or LP letter. Now, this letter, we end up pulling a credit report. And so that's very helpful, right? We at least have scores <laughs> and can see what the debts are, what the monthly payments are and everything like that. And then what we'll do is we'll submit that information in, as such as the income, the debts, and the credit score. And we'll basically get the blessing of Fannie and Freddie to say, hey, look, as long as you can prove all of this information is correct, we'll end on it. And then the third step, as we go into that, uh, this is like a full-blown underwrite. So Scott, what are the benefits of getting a full-blown underwrite? Well, the benefit is now not only do you have a, a credit report, but we've actually verified a person's income. We've talked to their employer. We've had them fill something out on paper. The underwriter looks at it, reviews it, and and it takes all the surprises out of the out of the the home buying process because once a Fannie Freddie underwriter has looked at a file and approved it, that person can close very quickly. In fact, all that has to happen now is the house gets to has to get approved because the borrower's already approved. And we tell our clients, once you've been through a live underwriter approval, we can close that loan in 17 to 20 days. That's how fast it can go, which actually gives clients an edge. Wouldn't you say, Janet, if you could go into a seller and, and say, my client's already pre-approved and they could close on this thing in 17 days, what kind of a, a negotiating advantage does that give you as an agent helping them? Well, it's a huge negotiation because I can come from a place of confidence and reassurance, not just mine, but for the buyer as well. I'm a lot less likely to have a buyer back out. I'm a lot less liker, likely that like it'll fall through the cracks. So it's a huge benefit. And I just think that if you were, so if you or someone you know are thinking about buying, time frame wise, six to 12 months ahead of time is not too soon to go through this process because we have additional information that we will be doing videos on that has to do with credit score, that has to do with your down payment, other aspects of getting ready to purchase. But I think what happens is, is if people are, are just waiting until they're ready and then they're ready, quote unquote ready, like they want to buy the house, but their credit isn't ready or they they haven't gone through the process to know their numbers and get a pre-approval. So that's why I'm like, this is number one and you should do it. You should do it six to 12 months ahead of time so that you are ready to go when you are ready. <laughs> then it all comes together. Yeah. And just like we have the, the traffic lights on there, I think that's such a great visual because if you're going to make an offer on a, a pre-qualification letter, that's a really weak position to be in. And it's really like running a red light. You could get hit as you go through the intersection. You could lose your earnest, earnest money. These are serious legal contracts and, and they shouldn't be approached kind of half cocked. The DULP approval, which is like Zach said, there's a credit report and you've got the blessing of Fannie or Freddie, but still nothing's been verified. And that's like running a yellow light. But if you take the time and plan ahead, like you were saying, and get all of your ducks in a row, 
you can have a full green light. You're not going to get hit. You're not going to lose your earnest money. It's going to be a safe and fun experience. And it's going to be to your advantage because it, it puts you in the driver's seat to, to negotiate if you're pre-approved versus other people who haven't taken the time to do that. So. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you.